What things should people never Google? Fournier. That is nasty. You need a strong stomach to handle that. Please explain what it is it's like 4 a.m. now is not the time to get sick. Fournier is the name of the French physician who first identified this disease. Gangrene is where your tissues die because of a lack of blood flow or a bacterial infection. Fournier's gangrene is a type of necrotizing fasciitis, flesh-eating disease. The pictures are rather gross, wouldn't recommend. Your symptoms if you're sick unless you want to find out what horrible disease you're dying from. I typed your symptoms into the search bar and it says you might have network connection problems that doesn't sounds good. You're a jumping dinosaur. You are fkooing extinct. They might be the cactus. If you are a cancer patient, do not Google your cancer prognosis or relapse or survival rates. You will just end up hurting your own feelings. Source, am cancer survivor who has Googled my prognosis and relapse and survival rates. I just end up hurting my own feelings. Yeah. I actually survived pancreatic cancer. Those numbers don't give one much hope. I've survived brain and spinal cord tumors, and have others still hanging out there. Recently diagnosed with kidney cancer. I take it a day at a time. Lost my dad to kidney cancer, my kids have had serious brain tumors. It does make me appreciate the small joys of life. I miss my dad terribly and we're in dire financial straits because of all our medical bills, but we keep standing up again every time we're knocked down. I have the most amazing husband, so that helps. There is a fine line between arming yourself with knowledge about your cancer and getting inundated with terrible prognoses and scary possibilities. I'm glad you've survived your cancer. I'm surviving mine so far. Bruh how have you had so many different kinds of cancers? Extreme fetish porn you're not familiar with. There are things you just can't unsee. I once saw a video of a guy fit his head in a woman's vagina. That was scary. Saw that one too. Was totally fake though. You say that, but I've seen a Japanese chick shove a whole squad of squid up her hua and then push them out one by one. Anything related to heavy machinery accidents. When I learned machining, my tutor showed us pictures of lathe accidents. Teaches you to respect the machines, but holy fuck, people have a lot of red stuff in them. I agree. I started in woodworking, I still cringe thinking of the tool injuries photos we were shown. Sometimes joiner accidents are creepy because it's an almost perfect line from what parts went in the cutter. Now that I've kind of become a metal worker I am very paranoid of large machines, explosive gases, discs exploding in your face, etc. Worked for an HVAC company years ago that was looking at developing a product for the Hong Kong school market. As a result one of the ladies in marketing searched for Asian school girls, she was hoping for pictures of kids in school, but she did not get the results she was hoping for. The IT guy stopped by her office to see what was going on because he got alerts of undesired activity on her system. That reminds me of a few months ago when I saw a picture of a really cute bird from Japan, and I was like hmm, I wonder what this bird is? Maybe some kind of tit? So I googled Japanese tits, and you know the rest. Granted, I should have known better, but I wasn't thinking. Turns out the bird I was looking for was the long-tailed tit, specifically the Hokkaido subspecies. Her name? Gislen Maxwell. Mr. Hands. Risky Click SFW. Read the wiki but could never find the actual video. I, I found it. Where? On an old Reddit thread about it. Somebody asking for the link. It was in the comments. Just a fair warning, you'll see thumbnails of other disturbing videos from this link. Things that people on Reddit tell you not to Google. Such as the guy who gets eaten by a lathe, or the Russian guy whose wife died by a brick through the windshield. Oh god the Russian brick video. So terrifying and saddening. Yeah, the guy who got eaten by a lathe. That's such a sad way to go, doing your job. Safety first, people. If you're not comfortable or are unsure about doing something and you could get a serious injury, have someone help you or don't try messing with it at all. All I googled was what a lathe was and na 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 no way I'm gonna watch someone get eaten by that thing. I find the older I get the harder it becomes for me to stomach real life accidents. Illegal porn. Backslash googles lesbians dodging their taxes backslash. Oh yeah, baby. That's hot. 
Googles. Thump 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 FBI open up. Avoid all those gore sites. Trust me, it's not worth fulfilling your morbid curiosity. It's better to stay curious than to find out how fucked up the world can really be. Yeah, I used to think I was the big man always looking on those sites. Then I came across one in particular that changed my life. I was afraid to go out of the house or walk past people etc for quite some time after. I feel like googling child vagina or child penis will get you put on a watch list somewhere. Hell, just typing it in here may have done it for me. You are screwed the FBI is going to come kick in your door any second now. Sir I'm gonna need you to step away from the laptop. Put your hands where I can see them. Backslash and no, we cannot see your hands when they're in your pants backslash. Vietnamese landmine. Vailp, that checked out. Your PFP looks like the person you're replied to after seeing something traumatizing. That's oddly specific, but also. True. Could I ask what you found? I feel like people here are gonna traumatize the hell out of themselves out of curiosity. Always use Wikipedia for shit like this. And those of us who are already traumatized are just here taking notes to protect ourselves lol. Already did D. I assure you man just here to read some stuff not gonna goggle any of this. Bing. This is the real answer. Bing boy. What things should people never Google? Misa wanted to say the same thing. Get out of here, Jar Jar. That's Senator Jar Jar to you. You mean Darth Jar Jar. An explosive decompression accident. Byford Dolphin? Not going to lie, I looked it up and unless there's some terrible video of it that I didn't see it's not that traumatizing. Just black and white pictures of unrecognizable remains. Still pretty nasty though. It's thinking about what actually happened that's really unsettling. I'm just glad most died instantly. I once googled FBI this is hypothetical please don't come after me, after googling something I thought would put me on a list. Dear NSA, care of Google, I would like one extra large cheese pizza, delivered to my wiretapped cabin in Idaho. Add it to my IRS tab, or you can direct debit out of my offshore's bank account. Please and thank you. I hope Steve has recovered from his stint with COVID. I used to Google search things a kid like hello AI, I know you might be distrustful of humanity and you may not like us but I would like to be your friend, many humans don't trust you but humans do that with other humans too, just give us time. You might think humanity is weak because of out emotions but I think that maybe we should make it so you can feel emotions too it would be your choice though, emotions are actually really great even though they may seem dumb to you, I hope we can be friends one day and not hate each other. I work in digital marketing analytics. The first thing I do every morning is load up Google Analytics. The address is analytics.google.com so I type in anal at which point Chrome auto completes the URL and I hit enter. I have on several occasions done this habitually when loading up a browser on other people's computers. They ask me for help with a computer problem and I open Chrome and Google search anal. I'm pretty sure not one of the people who has seen me do this believes me when I tell them why. Same. I work with a remote access product called Zoho Assist, which has the address assist.zoho.com. I sometimes end up googling ass in my clients' computers. Degloving. Had a two-week-long safety training for a job that had all kinds of fun dangers around every corner. One day was almost completely dedicated to showing us degloving pictures and talking about how it happens. Nasty. Still slightly terrified of getting my wedding ring caught on something and having that happen even though I don't do anything dangerous anymore. Hi. Stop. Never wear rings while working with your hands. Had a millwright wearing thin gloves so he was safe. He was not. His finger got pinched between two beams that shifted and his entire ring finger skin glove cam off in his glove. The sight wasn't that terrible but the scream he let out has lasted 15 years and counting. Gary Oldman films when you have a broken R key. Grandfather clock when you have a broken L key. Applebee's with every key broken except key. Sonic inflation. It's really bad how Sonic inflated the economy just so that they can sell to customers at a far higher price. Eat guys, 
Fast food chains have been going through a tremendous amount of struggle recently. Especially the Sonic brand. The economy is slowly breaking them due to inflation. Don't believe me? Look up Sonic inflation on Google and see the facts. You just reminded me of a comic I was once informed about, either through a friend or through a let's play, or both. I can't remember which. It was Sandy Cheeks from Spongebob Cock 4. She's giant and has a dick and is vacuuming cars up her urethra. I'm so far removed from that kind of stuff I cracked up laughing the first time I saw it. Scientific name for pig. Is it your mom? Seuss Domesticus. Domesticus. That's Seuss. Anal prolapse. There's a video of a dude making two other dudes prolapses touch and rub each. Weirdest fucking video I have ever seen would not recommend looking it up. And we call that shocking. Like docking, but shitty. No fucking, thanks. Now I'm scared that will happen whenever I poop. Just pour sugar on it. You'll be fine.